Hello, welcome. In today's video, we are going to be looking at aircraft engine instruments. Engine instruments are used or are designed to indicate and to constantly measure the operating parameters of an aircraft engine. Should there be a malfunction of the engine, these instruments are used also to indicate uh, any malfunction of the engine. The engine instruments can be analog or digital or both analog and digital. Most aircraft actually you find both analog indication and digital indication. The classification of the aircraft engines instruments, sorry. The instruments of an aircraft engine are classified into two. There are two main classifications. One is the primary and two the secondary. The primary engine instruments are those instruments that are used to show the performance of, the, of an aircraft engine. It shows the power uh, that an engine is producing among other major parameters of an engine. Those are the primary engine uh, instruments. The secondary engine instruments are uh, instruments that are used to show us some systems uh, associated with an engine, particularly the fuel system and the oil system of an engine, and also the, some other condition of an engine. Uh, those are the condition instruments of an engine. So we look at the primary engine instruments. Uh, first, uh, we have to know that uh, there's some on an aircraft engines there are those that produces torque and those are the engines that are fitted with a, a propeller or a rotor those are the uh, torque producing engine there's also some thrust producing engines and the thrust producing engines are uh, the turbojet and the turbofan engines those are the thrust producing engine they don't have a propeller or a rotor. So on the torque producing engine, the performance of the engine or the engine power is indicated by a torque indicator. This is indicated in percentage. A percentage indication of uh, torque is, uh, is the power. This is the indication of, of the power being produced by the engine to the propeller. And for the thrust producing engine, we have uh, two indication. There's one that uses N1 indication. N1 indication is the low pressure compressor RPM or low pressure compressor speed. And some engines uses this low pressure compressor speed as the indication of the engine thrust. And on some other aircrafts, uh, the, there's an indicator called the EPR, which is engine pressure ratio. This pressure ratio, this shows us the pressure rise across the engine and it is measure, it is the ratio of the uh, the pressure ratio at the exhaust of the engine to the pressure ratio at the inlet. So this pressure ratio is called EPR and is the, on some engine, this is the indicator that shows the thrust being produced by the engine or the power being produced by those engines. So apart from the power indicator which uh, is the indicator that we've discussed. Another primary engine instrument is uh, the EGT or exhaust gas temperature, also called ITT or TIT, interturbine turbine or um, turbine outlet temperature. This basically shows us uh, an average temperature uh, the, of the gases, of the, of the exhaust gas. Basically, it's a temperature, it is measured just after of the engine turbine. So it gives us an average uh, indication of the uh, exhaust gas temperature. This is a very crucial indicator. It is, it is, it, this indication is given in degrees centigrade and it shows us uh, that uh, an engine is operating within uh, the required temperature and uh, the limits, the temperature limit is not being exceeded. So this is the function of an EGT indicator it indicates the temperature being uh, produced the temperature of the exhaust gas being produced by the engine the next indicator that we are going to be looking at although i've already mentioned it is the n1 for those uh, 
aircraft that uh, don't uh, use N1 as an indication of thrust. The N1 is basically the speed of the low pressure compressor. Or on some aircraft, especially the turbo propeller one, it is called NL, which means low pressure compressor uh, speed or RPM. The next indicator we we'll look at is the N2, and this one is the high pressure compressor speed or RPM, and is found on both uh, torque producing engine and the thrust producing engine. Uh, finally, there's one indicator, primary indicator on the top producing engine, but it's one on the top producing engine, sorry, and it is called, uh, uh, on some aircraft, it's called uh, propeller uh, RPM or uh, NP. It is used to indicate the RPM or the, 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 the propeller rotating speed of those aircraft that are fitted with a propeller. Uh, next, we look at the secondary engine instruments, and the first uh, group of instruments that we're going to be looking at is the fuel instrument. Those instruments, the amount for the fuel instrument, we have uh, one, the primary, the first fuel instrument, the main one, uh, is the fuel flow. Fuel flow is used to indicate uh, the fuel being consumed by an engine in kilograms or pounds or gallons per hour. So that is the function of the fuel flow. It only indicates the fuel being consumed by the engine per hour. Uh, still on the fuel, we have a fuel temperature. It indicates the fuel, uh, the fuel temperature. Then this one, this indication, this uh, this information or this sensor is fitted at the fuel heater, at the exit of the fuel heater of an engine. So it indicates the temperature of the fuel going to the engine. Uh, next we have uh, oil. For oil we have an uh, uh, oil pressure indicator. It indicates the pressure of the oil. And then we also have an oil temperature indicator. Uh, this one indicates the temperature of the engine oil. For the engine oil and the fuel, we also have some warnings. And these are to warn us if there's a low fuel pressure or there is low oil pressure and if there is also a filter clog. For example, if an oil filter clogs or a fuel filter clogs, there is a filter indication. So for the fuel and the oil system, we have those warnings that indicates the low pressure and uh, high temperature and also filter clog uh, condition. The next one is the, the condition, the uh, secondary engine instrument is uh, vibration. We have a vibration indicator. This one is used to indicate uh, if uh, the high spool or the low spool uh, compressor of an engine has vibration. And if the vibration is within the stipulated limit, or if the limit is exceeded, this one is indicated by the engine vibration indicator. We look at these diagrams here for uh, some aircraft we go through the indicators. This one is for a turbo propeller engine, and this is the torque indicator in percentage. It gives us the torque. I want you to notice something. There is the green arc on the, this indicator. This is the normal operating range of the engine. And there's also this red uh, marks here. These are show, this shows the limits that cannot be exceeded. So this is the torque indicator. This is the NP, which is the propeller RPM. It is in percentage. This is the exhaust gas temperature or ITT. I uh, will have the NH indicator. This is high pressure compressor spool or speed. We have the low pressure compressor speed. We have the oil pressure indicator. We have the oil temperature indicator. And uh, we have the fuel flow in kilograms per hour. This is for a turbo propeller engine. Next uh, diagram, still for a turbo propeller engine, we have torque indicator. Uh, and you can see, remember I said there's an analog indication and the digital indication on most of the aircraft. This is the propeller RPM. This is the EGT or ITT, exhaust gas temperature. The high pressure compressor speed, the fuel flow, the oil pressure and the oil temperature of the engine and fuel quantity. 
We look at an electronic flight instrument system. We look how the instruments are indicated on, on such an aircraft. We have uh, engine pressure ratio. Remember we said on some aircraft N1 is used, on some aircraft EPR is used. So on this one EPR is used, engine pressure ratio. It indicates the thrust of the engine, the thrust being produced by the engine. We have exhaust gas temperature in degrees centigrade. We have uh, low pressure compressor speed, which is N1. We have uh, fuel flow in kilograms per hour. Then we have N2, which is uh, high pressure compressor speed or compressor RPM. This is uh, a percentage. Uh, those are the primary aircraft engine instruments. Next, we look at the secondary aircraft engine instruments. And for this one, now uh, on this example, we have uh, fuel used. This is in kilograms. We have oil quantity. This is in quarts. We have oil pressure. This is in PSI. We have oil temperature in degrees centigrade. Finally, we have the condition uh, instrument. And for this case, it shows vibration. N1 is low pressure spool vibration. N2 is high pressure spool vibration. Uh, on some aircraft, we also have an cell temperature indicator that indicates the temperature at the engine nacelle. So I hope uh, you've enjoyed the video and you've learned something new or you have understood something that you did not uh, understand well previously. Uh, thank you for watching the video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, we kindly request that you subscribe to the channel. And we also want to thank you for watching the video till the end.